Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play How Sweet It Is, as recorded by James Taylor on guitar. Now this is a classic song, and I'm gonna break the whole thing down for you, top to bottom. I'm gonna show you a way of playing through this, primarily using just open position chords. And this is gonna sound great if you wanna sing along with this guitar part or accompany someone else. We're also gonna mix in some walking bass lines in the progression as well that just make it really interesting and fun to play. Before we dive in though, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away for spending some time with me here on the channel. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack that you can download and this is gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you and with that said, let's break this song down. Let's learn how to play How Sweet It Is as recorded by James Taylor on guitar. Now we're gonna start off with the intro and this is the same part as the chorus. So the song basically starts out on the chorus. Here's what it sounds like. A one, two, three, four. So we're starting out, the song's in the key of G, but we start on a C chord, and the lyric reference here is how sweet it is. Right, that's where James Taylor's singing that melody. We start on the C chord, and we're gonna go one, two, and three, and four, and. So we've got three chords in the first measure. We play C, which is from the fifth string down. Then we go to a G over B. And this is, again, from the fifth string down, I'm playing two, open, open, three. Then we go to A minor seven, which looks like a C chord, but I just take off the root note here, the C, on the fifth string, and make it open A. That gives you an A minor seven. Then we go to a D seven sus four. And that's played from the fourth string down, Open, two, one, three. So, so far we're gonna go one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Okay, now there's a little bit of rhythm going on there. The basic idea is one, and two, and three, and four, and... Sort of a back and forth, down, up strumming pattern with a swing feel, but we're gonna have some of those chord changes change on the ands. So let me show you, one, two, and three, and four, and, okay? So what that is, is C, one, and two, and three, and. Then on the and of three, I go to the G over B, and the and of four, I go to the A minor seven. So one, two, and three, and four, and. Now I am playing those ands with a down there. A lot of the times, I'll hit those syncopations with a down strum. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and. Then we go three, four, two beats there. Beats three and four of the second measure on the D7 sus four. Again, if you're having trouble, just click the link below where you can get the tab. Then after that, we go. And this is a cool part here. We're going from a G chord, which I play this folk style shape. I've got my ring finger on the third fret of the low E, then I mute the fifth string, play open, 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 three. My pinky is on the third fret of the first string. Now we're gonna play one beat each. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. This is a G chord, and then I'm going to a C over G. So I'm just adding two fingers down there. It's like part of a C chord, but I'm leaving the G shape there. I love this move. Now rhythmically, I'm just spending one beat on each chord. One and two and three and four and... So down up on each chord. Now, we move to the first ending next. Now here we're gonna play a G chord and then go... And play a walking bass line. So that's a G chord, then F, E, then D, the open fourth string, so... Then repeat.
right? Then the second time we go. We go one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one. So that's two beats of G. One, two, this is the second ending. Then three, four on C over G. Then we're into the verse, okay? So all together, the intro, which is, again, is the chorus, sounds like this. One, two, three, four. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Then we're into the verse. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Now the verse has kind of two parts to it. We've got a four bar chord progression that repeats and then we move on to this little lift. So here's the first four bars of the verse. So I'm playing one bar per chord. G going to E minor. That's all six strings. Open, two, two, open, open, open. Then D7, which is like what we played in the intro. We played a D7 sus4. Now we've got just a straight D7 from the fourth string down. Open, two, one, two. Then we finish on a C. So strumming wise, I'm going one, two, three, and four. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. One, two, three, and four. That's two quarter notes. One, two, then that's tied over to the third beat. We'll play an eighth note, three, and four, and then a quarter note on beat four. So it's gonna go one, two, three, and four, E minor. That repeats. Then we move on to the next eight bars, which lead us into the chorus. Those sound like this. Back to the chorus. So what I played was a bar of G to a bar of C. Then in the next bar, we're gonna go E minor for three beats. One, two, three, four. We do a little passing chord on a D. So E minor, two, three, B, C. Then we got a C sharp diminished seven. Love this part. So this is a closed position chord here I'm playing, starting on the fourth fret of the fifth string. Four, five, three, five. So one, two, three, and four, C, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, D, C, and then C sharp diminished. So one, two, three, four. Now I'll keep the same strumming pattern going. One, two, but I'll vary it slightly in the measures where we have like one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, two chords per bar. So here, three beats on E minor, then one on D, then two beats on C, two beats on C sharp diminished seven. Then we go back, we do G to C again. And then we go and that's with the words, I just want to stop. We hit those hits. One, two, three, four. Then we're back into the chorus. Okay, so what I played was two beats of G. One, two, and then I rest. So I bring my strum hand down and mute the strings. I also mute with the fretting hand here. So one, two, three, four. Then walk the bass down, which is like what we did in the intro and chorus, right? So that's just a typical walking bass line into the chorus progression.
Congrats on making it through this classic James Taylor version of this song. Now, before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier because you'll be able to follow along with the handouts that I have for you. Thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in another video real soon.